One final hot topic in this month's journal evaluates whether hand and face transplants, which seemed more like a sci-fi topic than a reality about three decades ago, are now in the realm of the standard of care. The office performed a statistical analysis of all hand and face transplants performed from September of 1998 through March of 2014. While there certainly isn't enough evidence to make a conclusion on face transplants, the authors did find that routine immunosuppression can achieve intermediate to long-term graft survival in hand transplants that was empirically superior to solid organ transplants, which is very interesting. They also were able to conclude that chronic rejection and renal failure were statistically less in hand transfers than in solid organ transfers. While hand transplants were statistically superior to prostheses, they were inferior to hand replants. So, if you can put it back on, do so. While it is important to point out that not all hand and face transplants have good or great results, it is arguable that some hand transfers completed within certain parameters can be considered or potentially considered as a newer standard of care. For more on the scientific techniques behind these and so many other plastic and reconstructive procedures, please visit us at prsjournal.com. As always, to find more information on plastic and reconstructive surgery and to find a, a board-certified plastic surgeon in your area, please visit plasticsurgery.org. And from all of us, from your journal, PRS, have a great, happy, and prosperous 2016.